Hey guys, and welcome back. So today's video is gonna be hot new palettes that I've recently purchased that I think are totally worth the money. They just exude luxury, but some of them are affordable. So I have some good ones. Let's get started. This palette has me completely losing my mind. It's so good. It is the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. This is where every penny. Uh, you get all of these really gorgeous warm colors. They are, I can't even tell you how pigmented they are. I mean, you barely, barely need to swipe your finger. They are incredibly pigmented. Get a ton of product for the money. Every single one of these shadows in here is bigger than like a single Bobbi Brown shadow that's $20. So you do get a ton of bang for the buck, and I mean like a nine inch bang. You can blend these colors so easily that they almost blend themselves, if you will. I am wearing these two shades today and then a little bit of Dominatrix on my outer V and I freaking absolutely love this palette. You get a really good size mirror too, so it's easy to do your makeup if you're in bad lighting or if you have to take it on the go with you. I absolutely fell in love with this palette. So I highly strongly recommend. The next palette I'm actually wearing this is the Nicole Guerrero um, Anastasia Glow Kit. One of the best glow kits that have I've ever purchased. I've purchased a lot of her glow kits. Like it's probably, I don't know, like every single one. This by far is my favorite. The colors are really easy to wear. They're, and for some reason, I feel like the formulation of this one is not very chunky. It's they're really smooth. I don't know what they did different. Maybe it's just me, but if you can tell, I mean, they just give that beautiful wet look to the face. This Forever Lit is absolutely stunning. It kind of reminds me of the Cover FX Halo, but in a powder form. And today I'm wearing Forever Young on um, my cheekbones and I mixed something else with it, which I'm gonna tell you next. Really strongly recommend this palette as well, as well as this one. So this is $30, $40, this is $15. This is the Flower Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. You can get it at Walmart. Oh my gosh, for $16, this delivers better highlighting factors, pigmentation, and glowability than like Dior, Chanel, and all the other shit that sometimes we overpay for. This is amazing, especially if you're on a budget. And who likes the word budget? Nobody does. This is probably one of the ones that I really recommend these really creamy shades here and let me just show you how smooth and pigmented they are i mean it's really insane it truly is at how well these are pigmented and smooth i mean i don't know i don't think you can tell but look at there's like no chunks of glitter it is all highlight i have the camera kind of far back today i think i need to bring it up so that is just so so this next palette is kind of one of those things where if you're walking through the mall and somebody asks you, what are you wearing, you smell so good, and you cringe because you have to say it's Britney Spears perfume, that is kind of how I feel about this palette. It is the Kylie Jenner Peach Palette. I mean, and when people ask me what it is, I really wanna say something else, but it's not. I actually like this palette. It's a really fun like array of peach and like bright colors. And the weird thing about this is it doesn't swatch great. It actually swatches like total crap, but when you apply it, it applies very easily and they blend really nice. I don't know why that is. Um, mine doesn't smell like chemicals at all. If I stick my nose right up in it, it kind of smells like paint, but who doesn't like the smell of paint? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's really not even that bad and, if, if, and it doesn't bother me at all. Really like this palette. Uh, I know that you can get it now it's not like super coveted, so you don't really need uh, to sit there by the computer and stock it. I got a lot of questions in my last video, on Tuesday's video, what I was wearing, and I was wearing these two colors right here, this on my lid, this in the crease, and then I think that a little bit on the outer V, but you can see they don't, I mean, the swatchability isn't fantastic, fantastic, but if you see, I mean, I guess that that was okay. But they, I, this is a fun palette and I guess teenagers who are obsessed with the Kardashians, that might be a good gift. I don't know. I'm glad I have boys. This product is the Soeva Matte Palette. Oh my gosh, this is another winner for around $20. It's not that expensive. This is, oh, a, another gorgeous warm palette that will just rock your world and make you look like you got some last night, pretty much. Some of these colors here. Oh my gosh. Like you barely need to tap your 
your finger into some of these. Look at that. Oh, that color just has me freaking shook. I love that one too. Honestly, I mean, there's not a dud in this bunch either. And it's another really good price point for a nice warm palette. It doesn't come with a mirror or anything. And the Patrick, the packaging is cardboard, but I don't really care. An older palette. I mean, I'm late to the game on this one. Okay, so the Tartlet and Bloom palette is really i really like this palette you guys oh i love it so much another neutral palette i'm not going to say warm because it's got some cool tones in there packed with pigment and they blend really nice oh i love i, I really like this firecracker color and funny girl let me just do the shimmer ones and then rocker but again you can see that they are really look at that shade Packed with pigment, another great one. I think it was around 40 bucks. I like that one as well. So next really affordable palette is this NYX Perfect Filter in Rustic Antique. Ugh, another great warm palette. So this is really affordable. It's highly pigmented and you can get this. I think I, I got this off NYX.com. You could probably find it at Ulta or somewhere. These shades are like butter. This is totally worth it and uh, a lot of warm palettes going on here I have to tell you I'm trying to give you options in case wherever your price point whatever you want to spend I'm trying to give you some options this palette is from Natasha Denona it is the five star palette in number two one of the most gorgeous palettes that I own this has like this is all purples and beigey pinks oh, this shade right here is so pretty let me just swatch them for you i mean some her shadows are literally some of the best that i've ever tried and i love, look at that shade right there these glide on the lids so nicely you hardly have to work to get your eyeshadow to blend i mean i really like this palette and this one's not talked about enough but i think it'd be really complimentary on a wide variety of eye tones because it has that beigey purple pink and I just think that looks good on really anybody to be honest. That is all for my current favorite palettes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let me know what you guys think and maybe some of your suggestions for palettes that I could purchase next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!